Greetings, friends, family, and survivors. Well, I think I'll be done before it gets too smoky and hot. We're at my friend's house. Uh, been a smoke jumper and jumper trainer his whole life. And I'm helping him out with a project actually started for his water heater. He has the same water heater I do, and he wanted to make sure it would run when the power was off. So we had one spot out here in his place that had some sunlight. And the sun is on those panels all day. He's actually got more solar hours than I do. So that's a thousand watts up there. This is the best uh, set up homestead of all my friends. And the garden is to feed an army and uh, it does an amazing job. And uh, cattle and chickens, no goats or pigs. So um, we started out just with what's the bare minimum to keep the water heater running if the power's out so the water heater doesn't freeze. There's gravity feed water here, so we got to thinking why not increase the system a little bit so that uh, you could take the refrigerator uh, off grid and a few lights in the kitchen and run the water heater. So that's what we did. You've got a line that goes to the house from here. And here's the solar breakers goes here and the solar comes in from the roof right here. And this is in from the house, shore power, and then this is out to the house from the inverter. And of course, this light, you can see I over torqued the porcelain and broke it. That was dumb. Uh, that light and this receptacle will work on shore power, but the moment the shore power fails, it'll switch over automatically to the off grid system. So that'll get them lights out here in the barn and power, which they've never had, but it also sends the circuit back to the house. So there's a circuit coming from the house and a circuit going to the house. And it's a 2,500 watt uh, inverter, modified sign, and four golf cart batteries, T105s. Got a great deal. These were about 90 bucks a piece. And then we got the FlexMax 80, which is just about maxes out. If you want a 12 volt system, this is the least expensive one that will uh, max out a 12 volt system at a thousand watts. So uh, we're coming along. We've been working on this thing all summer. We also have uh, a Victron, the same one I'm putting in at Dad's house, I'm getting a Victron Energy battery monitor, which I'm going to mount in a box. And you can see the shunt for the Victron is here already. Now these are all naked still. I have the, uh, the shrink tubing, the two-part shrink tubing right here. Um, but I forgot my heat gun, so I'll just have to come back. In fact, I'll probably uh, do it last before we put a charge on these batteries. I'll put the shrink tubing on and label everything. Need to build some covers for these boxes. But so far it's it's working pretty good. Anyway, that's load tested. The inverter works fine, the battery end of it works fine. You know, I just gotta work out the solar charge controller and and right now I just do not have a back. I'm an invertebrate. Oh no, Steve is a jellyfish. Well, yeah. This this particular day I am. That's all right. I rejoice for everything I can do. What I'm supposed to be doing right now is, is helping these folks pick some beans. And uh, I think I know what I did. I got septoria in my beans really early, and that knocked them back pretty hard. And uh, they haven't been hit with septoria over here. So their beans are rocking, and they've got more than enough. All right, folks. Have a blessed day.